Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, if we are going to determine if this function it has an inverse um, using the horizontal line test, well, that's a graphic method. So we're going to have to graph the function. Lucky for us, this is just a line, which we know how to graph. So let's go ahead and figure out what our line looks like. Um, this is given to us in the form y equals mx plus b, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Our y-intercept of this line is going to be the non-x term. So our y-intercept will be 5. And our slope will be negative 3 over 1. So our rise is negative 3 and our run is 1. So let's go ahead and start at the origin. We're going to go up 5 and plot our y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, I've already put that point on our graph. After we've plotted that point, we are going to plot another point according to our slope. So I'm going to go down negative 3 on y and go 1 in the positive x direction. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going over 1 on x. And I have a second line or a second point for my line, and I'm going to attempt to draw a straight line, but it's probably not going to be straight, but I think you get the point. Okay, so there's my line, and they're asking you to use the horizontal line test to see if this has an inverse. So the horizontal line test tells us that if I plot a horizontal line, and my horizontal line only runs into my function once, then it does have an inverse. That looks like that's the case. They only intersect one time, so this function would indeed have an inverse. Thanks again for your question, Jacob, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.